Hello, class. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Oh, good evening. Good to see you guys. Uh, welcome, welcome. No, pero con ella está gordo, puro concentrado. Let me say hi to uh, Josué. Josué, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Good. Working right now. You're working? Yeah. Really? Oh, no. Wow. Um, and what, what time do you get off? Uh, 11. At 11, okay. Well, I really do thank you that even though you're working, but you connected. So I'm very thankful for that. Excellent. Um, that shows a lot of um, commitment from your part. Okay, good. Let me say hi also to Andre Giovanni. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good. How was your day? Uh, everything okay, teacher. Everything was good? Yes. Good. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. All right. Good evening. Good evening, Manuel. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Good, good. I'm pretty good. All right. Let me say hi to Fabiola. How are you, Fabiola? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And Manuel Montoya, how are you? <clears throat> Manuel, how are you? Very well. Oh, good, good. I'm glad well. to hear that. Okay, excellent. And Marvin? Are you at work as well? Yeah, teacher. Okay, okay. Well, good to see you. I'm glad you were able to connect even you, though you're at work, okay. Mariela, welcome. Hi, teacher, thank you. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, um, thanks for connecting as well. Um, and let me say hi to uh, Magali. How are you, Magali? Fine, teacher. Good, good. How was your day, Magali? It's, it's good. My, my day is today. It's fine. Huh? Today was good? It's good. Okay, good. Excellent. I'm glad, I'm glad to know that. Okay, good. Let me say hi to Julio Cesar. Hello, hello. Hello, Julio Sisa, how are you? I'm all right. I'm just getting ready. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. All right. Okay, let me say hi to, let me see who else I, I haven't said hi to. Uh, Suleyma Yvonne. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. Um, and Edgar, welcome, Edgar. Hi, hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And Warner, welcome, Warner. <laughs> Warner, can you hear us? I don't think he can. <laughs> okay, all right, no problem. All right, guys, well, welcome everybody to today's class. I'm happy that you guys are here on time, connected on time, uh, that's wonderful. Um, okay, so um, today, what we're gonna do, uh, first of all, it, well, let me take attendance to begin with so we get that out of the way. Um, let me have, let's see. Just give me a moment. Tienes tres pedazos todavía antes de que le lleguen las hormigas. 
Um, okay, so Alejandra, is Alejandra here? Alejandra, not here? No? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Uh, Andre Giovanni? Present. Okay, present perfect. Excellent. Uh, Edgar Alfredo? Oh, present teacher. Present. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Elsa Janet? Present teacher. Wonderful. Fabiola? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier. No, ¿verdad? No, I can't. Oh, yes, here. Ah, he's there, but he's not there. <laughs> okay. Um, Francisco Javier, se nos ha perdido. <laughs> okay. Um, Irene, Irene and Susana. No, ¿verdad? No está. Okay. Okay. Um, by Jennifer Magali. Present teacher. Ah, there is Francisco Javier. Okay, welcome. Good evening. Hi. Uh, Josue Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. Juan Francisco? Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco, no lo veo. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, Juan Francisco, not here. Okay, Julio Cesar? Present teacher. Wonderful. And Carla Cano? Carla? Carla? No, Carla's not here. Okay. Um, Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. Wonderful. Manuel de Jesus? Present. Great. Uh, and, yeah. I will come back in a moment. Okay. Okay. So Marvin is here then. All right. Mariela. Present. Okay. Werner. Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Soy la Present. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Suele no hay mí, ¿no? Suele, 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 suele. No. No está, ¿verdad? Ok. And, uh, sí, and um, Yvonne. Present. All right, good. Bye. Solo como modo de repaso para que no se me haya pasado alguien. Eh, Alejandra. Alejandra, ¿no? Okay. All right. Eh, quiero ver quién más. Irene Susana. Irene Susana, no, ¿verdad? Todavía no. Okay. Eh, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. No. Um, Carla Cano. Carla, Carla. No, ¿verdad? No puedo Carla. Ok. Eh, and, uh, soy la Noemí. Ok. All right. Perfect. So, we are ready. Ok, guys. So, what we're going to do right now um, is we are going to start, uh, first of all, with, um, um, well, uh, let me show you the PowerPoint. Let me see for a moment. Okay, so we're gonna tell me when you can see this. Yes, no, maybe? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, all right. 
Excellent. So beginner module four, unit four, accounting. So it's day number 19. Your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero. And today is Thursday, March 25th, 2021. Okay. Remember that yesterday, guys, we did um, a we did a game. It was called charades. Do you remember this game? And what I was I was sending you, um, I was sending you randomly the vocabulary, and you had to mimic. Remember? Okay. Yes. So today we're gonna do something similar, except that this time I am not going to give you the word. You are going to choose the word and you are going to mimic it, okay? And so you can choose any word that you want, any word at all, um, and or better said, any gerund, any, um, what can I say, any um, activity, any activity that you want, okay? So, um, Vamos a hacerlo si sí, aleatoriamente. Créanme que si sí, aleatoriamente. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Um, just a moment. Ok, here we go. Aleatoriamente. Oops. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. We're going to start with Manuel Alejandro. Okay. So I'm actually going to. Vamos a quitarlo para que podamos ver. Okay. All right. All right, Manuel Alejandro, you're going to choose any any activity you want and you're going to you're going to um, uh, mimic it okay and you we are going to guess okay. what it is okay uh, what activity cualquier actividad que usted quiera lo va a de la mímica uh... Pero, ¿en, ¿en qué sentido? O sea, o sea lo que sea. Ya, yeah, la like yesterday, así como lo hicimos ayer. Ok. Cualquier, cual, cualquier actividad que quiera. Ok. Solo usted va a saber cuál es. Ah. <risa> Hit him. Yes. All right. Good. Excellent. Okay. Bye. Manuel Alejandro, you choose the next person. ¿Quién es el próximo? Ah. Ah. Uh, chicos, si me pueden, Edgar. por favor, con sus camaritas. Yeah. Oh, me. Edgar. Okay, okay. Um. Drinking. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay. All right, we're gonna choose the next person. Who's the next person? Uh, Okay, okay. Um, Andres Giovanni. Ryan. 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 The correct? Yeah. All right, very <laughs> good. All right. 
Okay, Andres, tell us who's next. Marvin, Francisco, Javier. Francisco. Okay, ¿dónde está Francisco de nuevo? Ah, ya, ya lo encontré. Ah, Francisco es, está acompañado, Francisco. <risa> Okay. Hey Francisco, you can do it again. Quiero hacerlo otra vez. Eating. 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 Y ahorita viene el de camino. Okay, is that correct, Francisco? Yeah, it's correct. All right, very good. All right, let's see the track another person. Uh -huh. Me, teacher, me, teacher. Okay, let's see the Me, me. Ah, Warner, Warner is just doing the voluntary. Okay. For voluntary, voluntary. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Okay. All right, Warner. Warner, driving. Okay. Listening. Listen. Listening. Listening. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, okay, good. Hey, listening to something in specific? Ah, the music, the music rock. 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 Yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Good. Okay, Warner, who's next? Carla Cano. Oh, no sé si es cierto. Carla. Oh, no sé. Sorry. Sorry, no, teacher. No. Oh, no está. Um, okay, entonces... Let's, uh, um, Fabiola. <laughs> Fabiola, Fabiola, bye. Compañero. <laughs> sleeping. Sleeping. <clears throat> yeah, you got it? It was correct? All right, good. Okay, who's next, Fabiola? Marvin. Tomatela, hijo. Tomatela. Marvin. Okay. Me das un poquito, pues. Ah, pero Marvin, ¿cómo oh. ¿Qué se nos ha hecho Marvin? No me va a arruinar. Sí. Yeah. Marvin yeah. is working right now. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, yeah. okay. You want to choose someone Magali. else? Magali. Magali. Thanks for your <laughs> <laughs> I know, maybe. Um, cutting, 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 cutting a paper. Yeah, you got it. Is that correct? It's correct. All right, good. Okay, mm -hmm. who's next, Ma uh, Magali? Mm, let me see, let me see. Mm, Andres. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Andres. Mm, Elsie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Writing. Writing. <laughs> yes. Writing. Okay, good. Who's who's next? Who's next, Janet? Um, Yvonne. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Yvonne. Okay. Bye, Yvonne. Okay. <laughs> Smiling. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Mm, and next, I think Josue. Okay. C. 
singing. Speaking? Or singing. <laughs> speaking or singing? I I can singing or speaking, but I I try to <laughs> to singing. <laughs> You try to sing, okay. Yeah. All right, good. Good, okay. All right, we're going to do two more. Uh, so, Sue, who's the next person? Uh, uh, Alejandra Jovel. Alejandra, Alejandra. You don't understand Alejandra. Oh, ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Solo voy a subir medio cuerpo porque estoy en mi cama, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, voy a hacer como que... Uh, running. Running. Yes. Wow, uh, uh, Alejandra looks like Flash, like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a camera. Yes. <laughs> más interesante. El siguiente de cómics. <laughs> Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, one more, Alejandra. Who's who's next? Manuel Montoya. <laughs> Montoya. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, bye, Manuel. Your turn. Okay. Painting. All right, very good. All right, very good guys, bravo. Okay, all right, so you guys remembered the vocabulary there that we, um, that we had. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to, uh, well, now that we've done that, okay, yes, we've done that. What we're gonna do is, oops, hold on. Okay, so this is uh, the Jaren exercises. These are some exercises for review of what we saw last class. We saw that yes, we saw yesterday that Jarens can be used one for uh, after a preposition. Okay, we also saw that Jarens can be used at the beginning of a sentence as a as a um, as a subject, and we saw that Jarens can also be used. Um, af after a certain um, verb. And in fact, I sent you, I sent you the list in the WhatsApp group. I sent you the list of, um, of uh, what's it called? Of verbs that after those verbs, we have a gerund, okay? So, so I want you right now, um, we're gonna be working with a partner we're gonna work with a partner, and I want you to, um, I want you to complete the exercises. Okay, so um, you can take a picture. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs. Um, all right, it shouldn't take you very long. So I'm going to give you about five minutes, uh, six, but in six minutes, okay? So it shouldn't take you very long to be able to do it. Here we go. Um, Carla, are you having problems?
Corvin. Okay, we're going to be going to the to the breakout rooms, Marvin, so I'll see you in a bit. You can join whenever you want. Okay, you know, you have a double M. No. De, o sea, es este, solo, bueno, no por la, porque termina en consonante, el one, 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 y, 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 y tiene vocal. Try to, try to keep it in English, guys. Ok. <laughs> It's finished in, in, in consonant, have a um, vowel and es monosílabo. Yes. Es monosílabo. Oh, yeah. Monosílabo. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, es, es. Word, show word, este. Ajá. Y desaparece la E. Y queda. Pero going by plane. By plane. Ajá. Y la otra, we insist on cooking the dinner ourselves. Ajá. Y otra vez es mocking. O mocking. es otra palabra. Ajá. Sí, es mocking. No, es la misma. No, no smoking mocking. in this area. Area. Mm -hmm. Es la pronunciación. Area. Questions, right. guys? No, no, no questions. No. I don't know if Fabiola. No. Okay. I, I have a question for you guys. Did you receive a notification about tomorrow's class? Yes, did you? Yes. Well, uh, what notification? You didn't get the notification on this day? About the. De la casa mañana? Sí, a usted sí, Fabiola. Uh, sí. ¿Qué le decía? Sí. <risa> es, You're talking about the email. Lo, ajá, lo único que había que llenar la encuesta con usted. Ajá. No, pero no les llegó una, una, una notificación para el día de mañana. La clase del día de mañana. En WhatsApp, sí, teacher, pero no, no, no la leí así. Ahorita voy a ver. No la leyó. Oh, really? We had a notification. I, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Debería de haber una notificación. Sí, por medio del presente nos, nos es trato de comunicar que ya hemos iniciado nuestro proceso. No, no es. No, <laughs> no, 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 privado. <laughs> sí, teacher. Uh -huh. A mí me cayó ese mismo de, del, por medio del presente. Eh, yes. Es lo de la encuesta de satisfacción, teacher, que se adjunta a este mensaje. Sí, pero no les he llegado nada más. No. Ok, va, no. entonces posiblemente uh -uh. mañana. Ok, solo, solo estén atentos. Ok, eh, solo, oh, era una, una, solo era una, una, una pregunta, una curiosidad. Ok, continue, continue, pretend I'm, I'm not here, ignore me. Ya nos dejo con la intriga, teacher. <risa> Uh -huh. no, 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 What are you planning? <laughs> no, 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 Swimming in the sea. The oh, ship. yes, they are afraid of swimming in the sea. Are you guys finished? 
Yes, teacher. We finish. All right, excellent. Okay, so I'm I'm um, I'm going to see you guys very soon in the in the um in the breakout room. Okay, oh, sorry, better sorry in the main okay. session. It's okay. 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 Uh, going. Okay, fruits, fruits and vegetables is good for your health. Uh, and the number eight is my uncle is afraid of going by plane. Is le agrego ing nada más. Are you guys finished or do you need help? Hello, teacher. Uh, Hello. Uh, in the number um, four, mm -hmm. I don't remember uh, if Bane is Bain. the uh, correct word for B and Jaden. Bane. B E I N G. Yes, Bean. Yeah. B -I -N -G. Ah. Correct. Yes. Bueno, estamos locos, Edgar. <laughs> Okay. Bueno, okay. Me llego, me llego. Estamos locos. Okay. 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 Eh, number nine. Number nine. Okay. Uh, Is we insist in insist on cooking. On, uh, yes. So nice. Okay. Uh -huh. The diner also. dinner not dinner dinner, dinner. Uh, okay dinner di dinner. Dinner. Mm -hmm. dinner ourselves dinner ourselves mm -hmm. okay yeah uh, no smoking in this yeah. area yeah nice we finished teacher all right okay i'll see you guys in the main room in a moment okay okay hello my me i don't know if you can hear me see me but hello Okay, guys. All right. So we should. Hi. Okay. So I, I think everybody is here. The majority of people. Okay. Um, all right. Let's project here so that we can see it. Um, give me a moment. Okay, so we're going to do this very quickly, as quickly as possible, so that we can move on. Um, all right, so um, let's see. We're going to start with Marvin. Marvin, can you give me the answer for the first one? All right, number one. Or Marvin, or, oh, I no Marvin's, okay, Marvin's not. Okay, uh, let's see, Andres, help me out with this, Andres. They are afraid of swimming in the sea. Good, how do you spell swimming? Uh, it go with two M. Um, so, I spell, it, spell it out for me. Okay, S W I M N I N G. Good. All right. Very good. Okay. Next, number two, Julio Cesar. Oh, 
Um, you, uh, oops, where, you should give up smoking. Okay, how do you spell it? Smoking. S M O K I N G. Very good. All right, smoking. Okay, good. Next, uh, let's have Edgar. Edgar, help me with number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, driving becomes more and more expensive. Okay, good. How do you spell driving? Uh, D R I B E. Like that? Uh, uh, D R uh, mm -hmm. I I B E. Mm -hmm. Like that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. D R E B I N G. Okay, D R E or D R I? D R I, sorry. Uh -huh. D R I B uh, I N G. Perfect. All right. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Number um, four, Janet. Help us with number four, Janet. Some dreams of being a pop star. Good. How do you spell it? B I. M G. Bing? Yes. You sure? Sure. Okay. Remember, remember what I have always told you. The, the verb to be is an exception. Okay? It's an exception. So I know the rule is eliminate the E at the end. Okay? But because B is an exception, we we don't eliminate it in this case. In this case, uh, e, B E I N G. Excellent. Mm. There you go, Janet. Very good. Because it's an exception. Okay. So, okay. si, es cierto que que um, de que la la regla es quitarle el, el la e al final, verdad? Como drive. But because B is an exception, we keep it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let me see. Can I do that? Uh, uh, Irene. Okay, working, working overtime is quite common on this company. How do you spell working? Excuse me? How do you spell working? W H O R K I N G. W O R K I N G. Good. All right. Excellent okay. work. All right. Very good. Thank you, Irene. Uh, Jennifer Magali. Number six mm -hmm. is interesting in making friends. How do you spell making? M A K I M G. Good, excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good. Number seven, I need, let me see, Alejandra to help me with number seven. E-A-P-I-N-G, eating. All right, read the whole sentence. Eating fruits and vegetables is good for your health. Excellent, very good. Okay, very good. All right, next one, number eight. We'll have Francisco help me. Francisco Javier. Fine. Okay. How do you spell it? 
spell it. Okay, G R O I N G. Now read the whole sentence for me. My uncle is afraid of going by plane. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Next one. I uh, will have. Carla. Number nine. Okay, teacher. Is um, we insist on cooking the dinner ourselves. Okay, so how do you spell cooking? C O O K I N G. Good, excellent, very good. And the last one, I'm going to ask. Uh, Josué Alberto to help me. It's smoking. S-M-O-K-I-N-G. No smoking in this area. Wonderful. All right. Bravo, everybody. Very good. Okay. Good. Excellent. We understand this. Now, what are the reasons why you use the I-N-G? Basically, the reasons are these. Number one, the reason is because we are using, okay, a moment. the reason is because we're using a preposition of. Number uh, two, we're using. Fisher, uh -huh. I have a question with uh, it. Is with double T or only one eating? No, it's just one T because it doesn't finish in one vowel, it finishes in two vowels. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't follow the rule. That's a very good question. Okay. okay. It's a very good question, but no. Okay. Um, okay, um, hold on, just give me a moment. Okay, so um, like I said, with um, with uh, number one, we use we use the gerund because there's a preposition here. The same thing with number two, we have a preposition. Here, number four, we have a preposition. Number six, we have a preposition. Okay. Uh, number eight, we have also a preposition. Oh. Number nine, we have a preposition. Okay. And the other one, if you notice, the other ones that do not have a preposition, they are starting at the beginning of the sentence. Why? Because at the beginning, this these words are basically um, they are subjects. Okay, so these ones are subjects: driving, working. Eating um, and smoking, right? In this case, it's no smoking. But they are all um, the the subjects because they are at the beginning. Okay, so there you go. Those are the reasons. All right. Any questions? Come on, Okay. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. How do you translate the number five? Um, well, quite common. How do you how how do you say this in Spanish? Number five. Yeah. Let me say it. I'm asking everybody else and. How would you say this in Spanish? It's something that is very common. Bastante común. Uh -huh. But the whole sentence, because I think the question is, how would you translate this in Spanish? Yeah. Oh, trabajar eh, tiempo extra es bastante común en esta compañía o en esta empresa. Kind of. But remember, trabajar is a, is a verb. 
And we saw that these are not verbs. These are nouns. They are activities. El trabajo. ¿Mm? El trabajo sobre tiempo en esta compañía es bastante común. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El trabajo. Eh, ajá. Eh, el trabajo de, um, perdí, de tiempo extra o algo así. Uh, um, o sobre tiempo, ajá. Es, es, es bastante común en esta compañía. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Any other questions? No? Okay. Okay. In that case, let's stop here. And what we're going to do now is the following. We're going to continue um, working a little bit of the gerunds. And the reason what we're going to be, this time we're going to be working in groups. And we're going to be doing a questionnaire, okay? Like a little survey, okay? So it's going to look like this. Okay, so here's our questionnaire. So we have here, when you work, do you like working in big groups? Do you like working in big groups? Okay, and the question is, the answer is gonna be yes or no. And here is the reason, you're gonna say why. Why do you like to work in big groups? or why you don't like working in big groups, okay? So, and next question. When you work, are you eager? Eager means excited. Um, yeah, so it's like, uh -huh, it's like excited. So are you excited about sharing your ideas? Okay. Next is, when you work, do you like working with multitasking people? You understand the word multitasking? Uh huh. So people that do many, many jobs, right? Doing this, doing that, very, lots of activities, okay? That's multitasking. Okay, so personas que hacen multitareas. Do you enjoy finishing work early, right? So if finishing work early, for example, may, maybe you finish, um, you are supposed to finish your work at um, 4 p.m., but you finish at 3, for example, or 3.30. That's, uh, that's finishing work early. Do you like hanging out with colleagues after work? You understand the word hanging out? Contestar llamadas, algo así. Mm -hmm. Pasar el tiempo. Pasar tiempo. Mm -hmm. oh, hanging. hanging out, pasar tiempo. So you do you dislike? O sea, no, you don't like it. Do you dislike hanging out? O sea, no le gusta pasar tiempo with colleagues afterwards. Colleagues are co-workers, people that you work with. Okay? Yes or no? Now, if you notice in all of these questions, we have a we have a, um, what's it called? A, a gerund. Working, sharing, working, finishing, hanging. And in these ones, the reason why we use, the reason why we use the gerund is because they follow certain verbs. For example, like, after like, we can use the gerund. Also, so right here, also the same thing, like. Enjoy, after enjoy, we always use a gerund. And after dislike as well. Okay, now this is the only one that is a little different because this one, the reason why we're using sharing is because it's after the, after the, what's it called, uh, the preposition, okay? But these are the reasons because they follow verbs like like, enjoy, dislike. After those verbs, you use the gerund. 
O sea, estos, estos verbos, después de estos verbos, utilizaríamos un gerund. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? No, it's okay. No problem. Can you explain the game, please? Okay. The reason why we use the gerund, working, working, finishing, hanging, is because after these verbs, we always use a gerund, like after like, after enjoy, and after dislike we use a gerund. So we can say, for example, do you like uh, watching movies at home? Do you like painting? Do you like dancing salsa? Okay, we always use a gerund. And after the same thing with enjoy. After enjoy, we use a gerund. For example, do you enjoy um, uh, listening to classical music? Do you enjoy um, playing the piano? Okay, Do you okay, enjoy okay. Watching, um, watching series? Okay? And the same thing with dislike. We always, after dislike, we use a gerund. We use like, for example, do you dislike uh, working on the weekends? Do you dislike getting up early? Getting up early. So after those verbs, we use a gerund. That's the reason why we use the gerund here. And the only one that's different is this one because it's a gerund because it's after the preposition. Does that make sense? There are many other uh, verbs like this. Yes. I, I sent you in the WhatsApp group, I sent you the, a list. Did you see it? Okay. In the WhatsApp group, there's a list of verbs that are like that. Okay. okay. Después de esos verbos, de, todos, de, de cualquiera de esos verbos, se usa siempre un gerundio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I want you to, uh, we're going to be working in pairs and sorry, in, in groups and you can be asking your partner the question when you work do you like working in big groups and your partner's going to say yes or no yes i do no i don't okay so you are going to write your partner's answers so you can write for example um you ask your partner imagine okay imagine okay juan francisco you are my partner and i ask you do you like working in big groups, Juan Francisco? Yes. Okay, yes, so, okay, good, exactly. So he's gonna say, yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna write it there. And I'm gonna ask uh, Juan Francisco, why? Why do you like to work in big groups? Or why do you like working in big uh, groups? Uh, because uh, I now, Many people. Good. All right, because I get to know many people. Porque llego a conocer muchas personas. Okay, there you go. So that is what you're going to be writing in here. Okay, so do you understand? You're going to be interviewing um, your classmates and you're going to be answering these questions. Got it? We understand? Yes, Any, questions? Any questions? All right, so let's stop sharing here. Uh, um, esto, esto lo pueden encontrar en su manual. I'm going to tell you exactly where page is on. It's on page 48. 48. Before that, I'm going to take attendance. 
Okay, um, so I'm going to take attendance again. Vaya, aquí vamos. Eh, Alejandra. Here. Wonderful. Uh, Andres Giovanni. Great. Um, uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Okay, good. Um, Fabio, uh, sorry, uh, Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Great. Fabiola. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present. Great. Irene Susana. Present. All right. Uh, Jennifer Magali. Jennifer Magali. Present. Present. Right. Great. Eh, Josu Alberto. Present teacher. Great. Juan Francisco. Okay, great. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Great. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Good. Manuel de Jesus. Present teacher. Great. Mariela. Present teacher. All right. Marvin. Present teacher for the Great. moment. <laughs> okay, Werner. Present teacher. Great. Sola Noemi. Present. All right. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Perfect. Hey, full house. Bravo, guys. Okay, good. All right. So I'm going to right now get you to go to your breakout rooms. Let's recreate them here. Um, I'm sorry. I don't see it. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay, here we're gonna open up the rooms. Go ahead and join your group. Or your yeah, your group. Es Noemi. Se puede, es posible pasarse para. Hola, Manuel. Uh, ¿Será posible que se pueda 
¿Se puede ir al grupo, Manuel? Ahí. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué se nos hizo Fabiola? ¿Ah? Esa cosa. ¿Para no dónde sé. mandó Fabiola, teacher? Ah, es que lo que pasa es que uh, uno, uno de, los, de los grupos solo tenía un participante. Entonces, y ustedes tenían tres, entonces que, que la Ale. Sorry. Sí, sí. ¿Y qué pasó? Pero, ¿Desapareció de repente? Okay. Okay. Sí, sí, como un fantasma. ¡Wow! ¿Qué pasó? Dios? Oh, ok. Yeah. <risa> Estaba hablando del clima y de repente ya no. Ya no dijo nada. Y, y, ¿qué, ¿Qué pasó? Dios? Oh, ok. Sí, Esta es obra de la teacher. Dios, no puede ser otro. <risa> <risa> Sorry. Ok, no problem. Um, ok, María Adam. Uh, ok. Hey, yeah. Punteros se queda aquí. Ok. Uh, do you like working in big groups? Uh, yes, no, I no. don't. No. No. Okay. So this is perfect for you then. Only with one person. Yes, only me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Why? Uh, um, why not everyone works? Why not? Do you guys know where you are? Where it is in the in in, in the book? Yes, uh, in the page. Okay. Oh, yeah. Any questions? Okay. Uh, do you enjoy finishing work early? Yes, I do. Why? Um, because I'm I'm going home. Excellent, excellent. Do you dislike hanging? Why? Uh, when I when I finishing the early my job, uh, I feeling very good. Okay. For me, because when I finish in my work early, I can relax and rest all the night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the last, do you dislike hanging out when college after work? Así es. No, oh, yes. I like hanging out with my colleagues. Yes. No, not college, colleagues. 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 Okay. okay. Why, Marvin? Uh, uh, always is, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe we can say, uh, because I like the, the people can hear me. You, you like to be heard, mm -hmm. right? Because you like to be heard, okay? Okay. Like to be, because, yeah, tomado en cuenta podría ser taken into account, taken into uh, consideration. Oh, nice. You can say that too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, 
she likes. <laughs> Any questions, guys? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Me habían visto. No, teacher. <laughs> Yo tengo ratos de estar acá. We are, we are working hard. Yeah, I can see that. Good. <laughs> Thank God, tomorrow is the last day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm tired. I'm I know. Tired. I know. Uh, are you going to have any tell... vacation? Uh, I'm, am I going to have what? Yeah. Are you going to have vacation? No, we don't. We don't get vacation oh, these days. Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> after after work. Da, tampoco. Carla, no, no vacation? No, teacher, just work, 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 work. <laughs> work, 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 work. <laughs> okay. I was just telling, uh, I was just telling Carla that I, that I wake up at 3.30 in the morning and then I take the, uh, the, the car to go to work at 4.30 a.m. Wow. To go to Santa Ana. You wake up at so what I've been time? 3.30 in the morning. 3.30? Yes, ma'am. Wow, and you finish at what time? Uh, I finish at 2. But oh. then I have to take my, my, my uh, the, the transportation back home. So oh, it takes about long? like an, it takes about an, like an hour, maybe more. It depends on the traffic. So you're home around 3.30? Yes, we can say that. So I've been uh, I've been awake since three thirty in the morning. Wow, I I, I mean I woke up at three thirty because I did wake up, but it was not intentional. It was because uh, the 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 quake shook, uh, woke me up. <laughs> so, but, and, and and I have to do that. Um, I have to do that every day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Did you did you wake did you guys wake up from the quake in the in the middle of the night? We don't feel it here. Where where do you live? Uh, me, I live in Metapan. In Metapan. Yes. Oh, and you didn't feel it. La escuadra para hacer esa figura. No. No. Carla, did you feel the quake? Sorry, teacher. Did you, did Sorry, you feel I, the quake? I, I... Sorry? Did you feel the quake? No, teacher, really. No lo sintió. No, 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 really. I don't. Where, where do you live, Carla? I didn't. I live in Sayapango. <gasps> en Sere, no lo sintió. Fuerte. No. It was five. Maybe because I feel very tired. <laughs> it was 5.4. And I. And, and, Really, five point four, and and it was not deep. It was like a twenty today. Kilometers. But today, it, it, in the morning, in the middle of the night, at two in the morning. Really. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You you were she's very a, sound asleep. Yeah, she's, she sleeps like a stone. She's yeah, just, yeah, 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 something wow. like that. That's good though. That's good. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope everybody had opportunity of, um, of asking your partner, right, um, answering your partner, writing down the information. Yes? Yes? Everybody finished? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. No. No? Almost? Almost no. finished? 
Casi. Casi. Okay. 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 Good. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to continue here. Um, okay, let me share. We're now going to talk about a balance sheet. Do you guys remember um, that we we talked about balance sheets? What are balance sheets, right? Here is the balance sheet um, for January 13th, 2017. Okay. So here we have the, ba the, the, the balance sheet. Now in this balance sheet, you can see that there are different, um, there's lots of different information here. And you can see that the balance sheet is for one year because it starts from January 31st, 2016 to January 31st, 2017. So there, this is a balance sheet for one year, a period of time of one year. So here we have the current assets, the, which are the cash and equivalents and the total current assets. We have the total assets the current liabilities, which are the account payables and total current liability, liabilities, total liabilities, stockholders equity, which is um, the common stock and the capital surplus. Now, looking at these numbers, do you think that this is a small company or a big company? A big company. Yeah, right? This is definitely a big company. Look at those numbers. Those numbers are big numbers. Now, question. How do you read the numbers? ¿Cómo se leen? Any ideas? Well, actually, let me... Let me let me go to this number. I'm going to start with this number because I think I think this one's going to be easier to identify how to how to read it. How do you read this number? Anybody know? Inside. 170 million. Good. 800 870 million, 870 million, okay? So this is right here, this is the, this is the hundreds category. This is the hundreds category. And this is the thousands category. And this one over here, is the millions category, okay? So hundreds category, thousands category, and millions category, okay? So this is eight, so I, actually I'm gonna write it here so that you know, so you can, so the this, this right here, we would say that it's, eight, eight hundred. B eight hundred hundred eight hundred hold on eight hundred eight hundred yeah eight hundred and seventy million. That's how we would read it. 870 million. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. So like I said, we have hundreds, thousands, millions. But if you notice over here, 
we do not have we have more we don't we have more than just um, the those four categories notice how, so how do you read this one any idea one million billion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One eight, billion? Nine, nine million. Okay. So it's, I'm going to read it yes, again. I'm sorry, I'm going to. So over here, I'm going to write it. So this is going to be one million. Sorry, no, no, sorry. One billion. billion eight. Hundred and nineteen nineteen million. That's how we would read it. Okay, one billion eight hundred and nineteen million. Why? The reason is because, again, I'm going to show you uh, over here, we have, this is the hundreds category. After that, we have the thousands category. And over here, we have the millions category. And this one over here is the billion category. Okay. So, es, so es, les quería mencionar esto porque esto es un poco diferente como lo es en español. En español, esto no es, en esto no es un billón. Eso sería 10,819 millones. Right? That's how you say it in Spanish. But in English, in English, you do not say that. In English, in English, we... Sí, que hay micrófono abierto. Sí, ya, ya, ya estuvo. No se preocupe, ya, ya. Uh -huh, thank you. Um, okay, so, um, in, in English, we do not say... Um, we, we do not say 1,000 million. We don't, that does not exist. Ese, ese como, así, como se hace en español, 100 mil millones, no, eso no existe. In English, it says million, billion, trillion. Vamos al grano. Okay, so I'll, re I'll repeat. In, in English, in English, the, the categories are like this. So lo voy a leer. So lo voy a poner acá para que no se me confunda. So in English, first we go. First we read it. Um, hundreds. Thousands. Millions, billions, trillions. That's how we read it. So first it goes, first goes hundreds, then thousands, then millions, and billions, and then trillions. Okay? Got it? Got it. All right. Okay, so what I want you to do right now, guys, is you're going to be working in small groups and you're going to be discussing these questions. So we have these questions here. How much is the total, total of assets and liabilities from 2017 if we add 867 million and Two billion five hundred eighty-four million. The result is blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I want we're going to be working in groups and I want you to uh, answer these questions. Okay, all right, so I'm going to stop sharing here. But puedo dejar de compartir o todavía están copiando, escribiendo algo? No? Yeah, teacher, stop sharing. Okay, all right, so let me stop sharing and let's make the groups again. Um, they create. Okay. Here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Okay, and about the exercise, you can see is the screen. Yes. Yes, you can see the screen. Yes. Okay. And, and about, uh, please tell me how much is a total of assets and liabilities in 2019? 2017. Uh, the total for liability is uh, 9 billion. Five billion eight hundred and sixty six million. Nine nueve millones. Nine billions three hundred eight trescientos mil three hundred thousand. Eight hundred and ninety million. Y veo la misma cantidad de cifras. Es cierto. Uh -huh. Entonces sería one Bill. billion sixty nine eh, sixty. Uy. Six, si, no, pero es que es. Um, un, como 611, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Eh, one billion, bid, billion, 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 <risa> ah, y, y 611, ¿cómo se dice, Ticha? Se me bloqueó ahorita. El 611. En 11, en 11. 611 million. Pero tenemos que sacar el total. Es que eso me sale en el primero. ¿Cuánto? 
tres, un millón seiscientos setenta y cinco mil, no, un billón seiscientos setenta y cinco mil, ay, no sé, ochocientos, cero, cero, uno, dos, tres, un trillón seiscientos setenta y cinco. Ah, Six. Vamos a ver cuán buenos son realmente matemáticas. Ay, no. <risa> Ay, no, ni caben tantos ceros aquí en mi calculador. Usen la, la, los deditos y las manos. En los dedos de la mano. Yo creo que me va a salir mejor sumar así para abajo. Cero, 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 cero. Tres, cuatro, diez, siete. Set is a uh, billion. And ninety one millions. Okay. The total of liabilities is liabilities. Liabilities is uh what this mas nueve. Esta sería la suma de esto, de estos dos. Me dices el primero, sí. perdón, de estos dos. La de assets. Primero la de assets. Ajá. Ah, perfecto. Perfecto. Ajá. Primero okay. era la de assets. Ahora voy con la otra. La de liabilities es uh, 14 billions. Ok. Te, te and 339 millions. Okay, the, the one, uh, the number two is, is total. Uh, now we have to sum amba, um, ambas cifras. Tenemos que sumar ambas cifras. Sum up. Porque, sum up. Uh, um. it, how much, how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? Okay. Yes. And the total of that uh, quantities is uh 22 billions and 430 millions okay Yo, teacher, qué barbaridad. Hola, teacher. <risa> Ay, teacher. Vamos a ver qué, qué, qué relajo están haciendo. Sumando, sumando. Adding up. It's an sumatory. <risa> ay, ay, ay. Ocho. Es a 14 million. Sí. <risa> Sí. Yo ya les dije a los demás de que usen, la, usen la, sí. eh, los, de lo, los dedos de las manos y los piecitos si necesitan ahí <laughs> ayudar para poder sumar. Ok, I have 14 billion, 339 billion. Yeah. Right? That's what you got, Marvin? That's right. Repeat, please. Uh, <laughs> 14 billion, 339 14. billion. Ajá. Uh -huh. On liabilities. No y estoy usando la calculadora. Uh, 14 billion, 339 billion, a uh, uh, million, perdón. A 3,000. There you go. Mm -hmm. No, it's 14 billion, 339 300. million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 300 um, 39 y lo otro hay que sumarlo también 
You guys ready? Yeah, right. or are you finished? You're finished already, or do you still need more time? Uh, I think we need more, more time. time. We, we are really bad in mathematics. <laughs> yeah. The calculator not respond. <laughs> Somebody said, my calculator doesn't have so many zeros. <laughs> yeah. It okay. gives me an error. <laughs> oh, my. Y, hay que, y el de abajo hay que sumarlo. Yeah. El, el stakeholder equity. También. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pues no nos pide eso, solo nos pide que sumemos uh, las dos cifras de abajo, que serían. Pues de billion and a five hundred. Y aquí no habría que ponerle también and four hundred. Teacher. Mona Lisa asking, asking you so, uh, if uh, it's necessary add an add the uh, an um, A and D. 451 million. 400, uh -huh. 3,451,000,000. And. And, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets too confusing. Okay, you guys are ready? Yeah. Okay. It's correct. Um. We'll we'll be checking what we'll be checking in class. Don't worry. Well, we'll I'm gonna we're gonna go to the main room and we'll check okay. it all together. Okay. All See right. you guys in a bit. Teacher. Hey, Carla. I talking with uh, Noemi, but she doesn't hear me, maybe. <laughs> and I have trouble with my connection. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And the app uh, me saco. Pequeña mm. cosa, <laughs> little thing. Eso pasa. Ok, vaya, ¿dónde están mis contadores? Ahí, ahí puede ver, I, I, I could see all these, like, these um, faces, you, you had these faces, like, unas, unas caras de angustia que tenía. Ok, all right, let's see. I know, well, I know you guys are good at this, so don't worry, let's check. Okay, all right, so how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? Okay, so um, let's write it down. You, you can open up your microphone and tell us what you guys think. So how much is the total of assets? First of all, we're gonna do the one of assets, okay? So assets, what is the total of assets? Assets is eight billions and ninety one billions. Eight billion and ninety one billion millions. Very good, and ninety one million. Okay, so eight, so it'd be eight million. Sorry, sorry, eight billion. Eight billion and ninety one million. Okay, that's what it means. Eight billion and ninety one billion. Okay. Um, and if you wanna, I'll, I'll write it here in in um, letters. Letters it would be eight billion and ninety. 91 million. Okay, that would be the answer. Okay. There you go. Okay, now, as, uh, so that's about assets. Liabilities, 
talk about liabilities. You can tell me about liabilities. Is fourteen billion three hundred and thirty nine million. Ooh, wow. Okay, all right. So let's try this. So can you tell me again? Fourteen billion uh -huh. and three hundred thirty and thirty nine millions. Very good. All right. Okay. That's the total. Where is this number? So four. So if we're going to write it out, it would be fourteen billion. Four, fourteen billion three hundred. And thirty nine million. Hundred, very good. And thirty nine nine million. There you go. That's the answer. Okay. Questions? No? No. All right, we're going to do the last one here. And if we add two, sorry, if we had, if we add eight million, sorry, 867 million and two billion 584 million, the result is, if I can. Three, three billion three and billion. <laughs> three billions and four hundred and fifty one millions. Fifty four. Okay, there you go. That's the answer. Oh, no, wait a second. No. No, pero que le te, le puse más. Sí, ¿verdad? Yeah. There you go. That's the answer. Okay. And written would be, would be like this. Be careful. It's not three billions it's just three billion not billions it's three billion four hundred and fifty one million oh no sorry yeah million so no, don't say three billions. It, it's just three billion. All right. Questions? We're okay. Okay. So long. Only about uh. 14 billion. That's no matter for the exercise, but uh, I confuse it. Where's, where is? What is your question? Only the number. What, what do you mean? No matter, no matter. So the number, o sea, ¿cómo, a cómo llegamos a eso o qué? Okay. Oh, oh, well, I, I don't understand the question. No importa. No, 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 no entiendo, o sea, en la hoja no sé de dónde salió el 14. O sea, you want to know how we got 
this number? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, the liabilities? Okay. Uh, we have to add uh, the liabilities here together. It's a dos. Add and nine. Deciding. Hmm? The total of li li liabilities is uh, 19 billion. Uh, no, over here, because this is in, this is in, the question is the liabilities in 2017. Okay, so the liabilities in 2017 is over here. So you have to add this. We are adding. Okay, I don't see the see that? the We're the column this. of uh, of the. I'm adding this. No, no, miraba la columna de 2017. Solo miraba la 2016. Sorry. Oh, okay, it's okay. Yeah, so this is, so we're looking at 2017. That's why. Right. We have to add these. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure, I, I have a question. Yeah. How do you say in English la suma de? For example, la suma de 4 billones y 9 billones in English. The sum. The sum. The sum. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The sum of, oops, sorry. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's, it's not the sum of, mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions? No, okay. All right, let's stop sharing here. Okay, good. Now, um, many times when we have, uh, when we talk about real situations that two things that depend on one another, we call those things conditional. So in other words, if we're saying, if this happens, the other thing happens, okay? So to give you an example, uh, I'm going to ask you this in Spanish. ¿Qué pasa si yo tiro este polígrafo en el aire? ¿Qué pasa? Si lo tiro cae para al suelo. Cae. Cae. Exactly. Si yo lo tiro para arriba, siempre va a caer. Right. So that's a conditional, right? That's a conditional because uh, you're you're saying the condition is. I throw it up in the air. The result, it comes down. Yeah, do we understand? If I don't throw it up, that, that condition does not exist, right? If I don't throw it out in the air, the condition does not exist. So I need the first, I need the condition. The condition is throwing it up in the air. And then the, the pen comes down. Yeah, that's a condition. So that's what we're going to be seeing today. Okay, we're going to be looking at different conditions. So let's let's share. Can you see that? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Oh, sorry, guys. Just give me a moment. Okay. Um, Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. yeah. How I saw the exercise say um, 19? Huh? In the platform, 
Uh-huh. How I solve oh, the exercise. That's, that's what I we're think. going to be learning right now. Okay. So okay. This, this is going to help you. Okay. All right. So anyway, um, so here we have this, what we call zero conditionals. Okay. The zero conditionals um, is, like I said, we have a condition and a result. The conditional has to exist for the result to exist. If the condition does not exist, the result does not exist. Okay? So, example, what do we, uh, what do, we do if we have very low assets? So, the condition is... The condition is uh, we have very low assets. Okay, that's the condition. And the result would be we do something about it, right? Okay, we do something about it. So first we have the low assets, then we do something about it. So this is a, so over here I'm going to write. Um, here is the condition. Condition. Okay, so over here we have the condition, and over here we have the result. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Any questions? What does it mean we have very low assets? Sorry? Uh, what does it mean we have very low assets? Uh, what are assets? Uh -huh. yeah. What are assets? I don't know. We saw this word before. Can se acuerda que son assets? Vimos esta palabra. Activos. Activos. Exactly. So, low assets. Para los activos están bajos. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Do we understand? Yes. Okay. Good. So, first, the condition is we have low assets. Then we have a result. Now, so that means if we have low assets, we have to even up prices. Okay. So, over here, we have again the condition the condition is we have low assets i'm sorry we have low assets that's the condition and the result would be we have to even up prices Okay, so over here, this is the condition, that's the result. So far so good? ¿Están siguiendo? This is the result. And this is the condition. So, si la condición no existe, el resultado no puede existir tampoco. Okay, now it is also possible to switch it around. We can put, it's also possible to put the result first and say we have to even up prices okay? and the, then we have the condition over here. 
And this is the result. Okay, so you can, so basically what I'm showing you is that you can put the condition first and then the result or first the result and then the condition. But if you notice, we, the, the two parts are connected by a word. And the word that it connects them, what is the word that connects them here? What word connects the two ideas? The result and the condition. Conditional. The word if, exactly. We have the word if here that connects the two ideas. So we have if, if, and if. Yeah? Now, what you will probably notice is that if we, if we put the word if in the middle, no problem. But if you put the if at the beginning of the sentence, there is nothing to come to connect the two ideas. The no, no, the, la, el, la palabra if ahí es un connector. Conecta las dos ideas, el resultado con, el, con la condición. Pero en este, no hay nada, o sea, que lo conecte porque el conector está al principio. Entonces, lo que hacemos es, miren, we put a comma. To connect the two ideas, we put a comma. All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. So, now, another, another, um, another way that we can connect it is using the word when. Okay? So, when and if is the same thing. Okay? So, you will probably notice that we used, we use if here, we use it when here, and we use when. It's the same idea. So we can say, um, so it's possible for, for, for me to say, where does your family go? Where does your family go if they need a loan? The condition is if they need a loan. And over here, we have the opposite. When my family needs a loan, so over here is a condition, they go to the bank. This is the result. Over here, we have the result beginning. My family goes to the bank. This is the result. And the condition is they need a loan. Okay? So basically, we can connect the con the result and the condition using the word if and when but if you notice the same idea this the same thing that i told you before if you put the if the connector is at the beginning si el conector está al principio no hay nada que conecte las dos ideas entonces por lo tanto venimos y le ponemos una coma does that make sense Questions? So I'm going to give you some examples. Okay. When you mix red and blue, when you mix red and blue, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa cuando se mezclan esos dos colores? Purple. Yes, very good. You get purple. So okay. All right. Another one. If you throw, you throw 
a ball in the air. Okay, the ball, if you throw a ball in the air, what happens? ¿Qué pasa cuando se, se... It comes down. It comes down, very good, it comes down. Good. What happens, um, or we can say for example, um, water melts, or sorry, water um, freezes uh, if you put it, um, if you put it in, uh, a, uh, if you put it in below zero, uh -huh, very good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you put it, if you if you put it in a place. Um, or if you put it uh, in temperature below zero. Okay. All right. Now you will notice there that all of these are things that can happen. Okay. These are things that are true. So these are not these are not like, ah, oh, it's a possibility. No, these things happen. These are real situations, okay? Real situations. And if you notice, we, con we have a connector. We always have a connector. The connector in this case is when, oops, sorry. Oh, no. Okay. Um, so we have when, here we have if, and ha here we have if, okay? Now, if you notice, in these two, the connectors are at the beginning. So to connect these two ideas, we need to have a comma, right? And here we know comma because the connector is the word if, okay? Now, what I want you to notice is this. I want you to notice the structure of the two sentences. When you mix, when you mix, when you mix red and blue, you get purple. If you throw a ball in the air, it comes down. Water freezes if you put it in temperature below zero. Okay, so, ya que vieron estas estructuras, díganme, ¿cuál es la estructura del zero conditional? ¿Cómo se forma? We have mix, get, throw, comes down, freezes, put. ¿Cómo se estructura? El verbo tiene que estar en qué forma? What is the name of this? Mix, get, throw, comes down, freezes, put. No, it's not the base form because comes down is not, not base form. Freezes. What is it? Huh? Base form. No, it's not base form because, like I said, base form freezes is not base form. And base form is the, the original form. Simple person. Person. Exactly, exactly. So basically it's going to be if or when plus simple present plus simple present. Okay, that's going to be our structure.
Okay. Got it? Questions? There you go. That's a structure. If or when plus simple present. And the other one is simple present as well. Okay, so las dos, los dos, las dos, um, eh, las dos partes de la oración van a ir en simple present. So look, when you mix, you get. If you throw, it comes down. Water freezes if you put it. Okay, so both of them are in the simple present. That, does that sound good, everybody? Do we understand? Sí o no? So let me say this in Spanish. When you mix red and blue, you get purple. How do you say that in Spanish? Cuando mezclas, Cuando mezclas rojo y azul, obtienes el purple. Very good. Cuando mezclas el rojo y el azul, obtienes el morado. Mm -hmm. Good. If you throw a ball in the air, it comes down. Uh -huh. Si, si, uh, si lanzas, si lanzas una pelota en el aire, pelota en el aire. va a caer, caerá. Uh -huh. Cae, ¿verdad? Cae. No. What are places if you put it in temperature below zero? El agua se congela si la pones en temperatura bajo cero. El agua se congela si la pones en temperatura bajo cero. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so there you go. Those are real conditionals. And what we call them, it, we call these zero conditionals. So this is a simple present plus simple present. Is that what it was? Any questions? Bas, any questions? Not the chair. It's clear. You sure? No questions? Okay, bye. All right, guys. So what we can do then is um, I would like you guys to work on this for homework. No debería de tomarles mucho tiempo. Quiero que me hagan esto de tarea. Um, Okay, so this is exercise number, what is number, number five, right? Exercise number five on page uh, 44. Okay, so this shouldn't take you long. All you got to do is put the verbs that are, the verbs that are in parentheses, put them in the simple, in the simple present. That's it. So it shouldn't take you very long. That's going to be for homework, and we're going to check the answers tomorrow. Okay? Any questions? No? You sure? Teacher, can you share again? Oh, sure. That's in your book. It's in your book. Okay. Page 44. But I can share. You want, you can. 45, teacher. Uh, 45? 45, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, teacher. You're welcome. Page 45. So you can, you that's going to be for homework. Like I said, it shouldn't take you very long. Les va a tomar, yo diría como unos 5 a 10 minutitos. No les toma nada. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. Well, if there are no more questions, any questions before we leave? No?
Ok. Uh, Francisco Javier, ¿usted se puede quedar el día de hoy? ¿Está pro programado? ¿Se va a quedar? Eh, no, no. ¿No, no se va a quedar? No. Ok. En ese caso, ¿hay alguien que desea quedarse el día de hoy? No. Okay. All right, guys, that will be all. And take care. I will see you guys tomorrow. Acuérdense de conectarse justo a las 8 para que les salga bien ahí con, con las horas, ¿verdad? Lo que acuérdense que necesitan 80%. Okay, guys, es para no tomar sure. más tiempo, voy a tomar una captura de imagen para que vea ahí la asistencia y eso sería todo. Okay. Uh, you had a question, Josué Alberto? Sí, pero no tardaría mucho, solo es del portal. No sé si me daría unos minutos para que le muestre ah, la sí, respuesta, sí. para ver en qué me equivoqué. Ah, sí, está bien, quédese, no hay problema. Yo aquí voy a estar. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. That's it, guys. Take care. See you. Bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, can I uh, share with you uh, mm -hmm. the screen? Of course. Okay. And it's um, uh, eight, 18. It's Jerome, but I, I don't know. What mistake I I'll do? Okay. Eh, si no me equivoco, the answers for this is only the gerund. Do not write the complete sentence. Yeah. I put on the germs in is not correct. Write it down and you will see. Okay. Check. Yes. Oh. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, a veces son cositas tan sencillitas, verdad, pero que tiene una gran o sea, diferencia. Tenía esa duda porque en, en algo otras uh, tareas tenía que poner la oración completa. Yo sé, ajá, I know, I know, I know. Así pasa. Eh, sí, a veces es, es algo tan sencillo como eso, que, pero sí hace una diferencia. O a veces, eh, ¿cómo se llama? A veces me, me han dicho, mire, yo me he estado dando duro con, esta, con ese ejercicio. Y entonces le digo, ¿sabe qué? Le, le voy a caer mal, pero ¿sabe lo único que es? Es de que tiene que quitarle la, la, el signo de interrogación porque la oración ya la lleva. Un punto. <ríe> un punto o un espacio. Un punto. Ajá, así que. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Teacher, yo la puedo molestar. Yeah, of course. Me, no, me bueno, quedé. realmente no, no, Pero, no, no me molesta. Pues en mi caso, okay. soy, bueno, eh, eso eh, nada más, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, also, no problem. Okay, uh -huh. thank you for okay. your help me. You're welcome. Take care okay. and have a good week. Good night. A good, a good night. Mm -hmm. Okay, sí, dígame, Edgar, cuénteme. A teacher, sí, uh, en mi caso mío es uh, uh, el homework, pero el, uh, la tarea 19, que la estaba haciendo, pero así igualmente me, me quedó a mí la, uh, la duda de cómo es que la tengo que, que, que completar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este... Aquí está, uh, le muestro la 
pantai ya. Uh -huh. Ok, mira. Ah, y de hecho es de la tarea, de, es de la clase que hemos visto ahora. Yo me puse a adelantar, a hacerla. Uh -huh. Y uh, ahí nos pide pues, que completemos uh, usando la, la, la palabra eh, y el verbo correcto, ¿verdad? Entonces, tengo en la primera línea, if I wake up, que, que es lo que está entre paréntesis, late, coma, I be late for work. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé si tengo que completar la oración o solamente tengo que colocar las palabras que están sí, en eso sí entre es que paréntesis. Está la oración. Uh -huh. En eso sí tiene que escribir la oración completa. Ah, la oración completa. Uh -huh. ah, entonces aquí ah, sería if I uh, wake up uh, late I pero en este caso el verbo tendría que estar en gerundio, el be. ¿Cuál, no. ¿cuál es, cuál es la, la regla que aprendimos hoy? Habló de, de, tres, de tres reglas, ¿verdad? Sí, una que es mix. Eh, cuando el, el, el if va al principio, cuando va... En... Okay. Se lo voy a poner más fácil. ¿Cuál es la estructura de la que hablamos el día de hoy? Uh, if, when, uh, plus simple present, simple present. Ahí está. Simple present. So, what's a simple present be? Oh. Simple present to be as... Uh, Oh. <laughs> ¿Cómo diría yo soy un hombre? Yeah, I am. Uh, I, I am late for work. Ok, perfecto. Ok, so I, uh -huh. I, I am late, late for work. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Magic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. What is a simple present? Así simple que, present. Eh, si es, por ejemplo, en, el, en number two, in number two, um, the simple present has to be with an S, right? Because it's my son, third person singular. So it's my son. My, my son. Uh, Continue. Here. Uh, the, the, the he? Oh. Uh, my son, and what continues? What's the third person singular of a burn for my son? Um, my ¿Cómo son? son? Here. Mi, mi hijo quema la comida? Uh, No, es, es, es. Oh, it's, it's here, here. No, okay, the verb is burn, right? But it, but my son is third person singular, it's he. It's he. Ha, huh, so my son. I. Here, my son. No, okay, my son, my son. My son. Is? No. no. Burn, burn. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cómo se conjuga? My son and burn in the in simple present. My son. I don't, no me recuerdo. Lo siento. Ahorita okay. me bloqueo. Bye. My son is he, ¿verdad? Yeah. And sí. he is third person singular. With third person singular, you add the S. For example, he works, he plays, he sleeps, he reads, he listens. 
Okay, my son. My son, my son Barnes. Yeah. Barnes the fall if he uh born uh -huh. the fall if he no that's cooking, no it's, it's cook, verdad? Uh, along. Remember, the, remember the, acuérdese la regla, tercera persona se la agrega. Eh, yes, cooks. Good. Okay, cooks along. Okay. Cooks along. Uh, oh yeah. There you go. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So okay. remember, remember. For third person singular, for he, she, and it, we have to have S or ES or IES. Se tiene que agregar. Para el I, para you, we, and they, no. Pero for he, she, and it, sí. Okay? Okay, okay. And in, in, el, in el tercero um, is if employees not what is the simple present that not eat not eat um, not, not, not eat como se diría los si los empleados no comen o o lo, como sería los empleados no comen bien if employees not it it's ah no porque no es ¿Cuál no es la es, que se usa? it no es it no en este caso. employees is plural is they plural. Mm -hmm. right okay. employees is they because yeah, yeah. employees employees oh, yeah okay. Ahora, how do you make how do you make the 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 simple past? Sorry, the the simple the simple present of not eat. ¿Cómo se dice? Ellos no comen. They 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 are they aren't eat. No, not aren't. The auxiliaries do. So they they. They are. No, the auxiliary is do, not are. Do. do, do, do. Oh, ah, okay. In, if employed, do, do not eat. Good. Or contracted, don't. Don't. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Don't eat. Creo que hay un espacio extra ahí. Sí, aquí le dejé un espacio por medio. They are ah, igual, ¿verdad? Ajá. They, they, they do not, they don't, don't, uh, don't be. Actually, no, ahí sí no, porque be is the exception. The, the, el, el, con el be nunca se pone don't be. El pasado de, de uh, sorry, el, el negative of B is am not, isn't, aren't. They don't are. It's plural, right? Okay. There is one. Am not, isn't, and aren't. Mm -hmm. They, they, they aren't, sería, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, they aren't. There you go. They aren't heal, healthy. Oh, healthy. Healthy, okay. Okay. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, hoy sí, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Thank you, you. Que puede, que, que puede con los, las otras dos. Ya solo yeah, siguiendo yeah. eso, acuérdense, simple present, 
para ambos. Ok. Para ambos, sí. Y el pasado okay. y en el the negative, we use don't, don't, doesn't, o if it's the verb to be, isn't, aren't, or am not. Ok. Ok, gracias. Gracias, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, and, and anything, anything more? ¿Alguna otra cosa? No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. Um, You're okay. welcome. Okay. okay. Uh, All right. Take night. care of that. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.